Welcome back. Well, next month, students from all over the state will vie for the prestigious award of Sterling Scholar. That's right. Our parent company, Deseret Management Corporation, has presented these scholarships for more than 60 years. Danny Wimmer tracked down one former scholar to show what Sterling Scholars go on to accomplish. Walking to engineering class at the University of Utah, Wyatt Many Goats is far from home. I think in the Navajo sense, like, our traditions and our cultures hold us close to our family. It's like hard to break that and hard to get out of that comfort zone. He's sacrificed for education. He left the reservation at 14 to join other Navajo students at Richfield High and live in the dorms. The parents know what quality education Richfield High School has to offer. Plus, we have Snow College. Our students can start earning college credits um, in their junior year. Okay, so we're going to go back five. So I actually graduated from college before high school, which is funny. He was named the KSL Deseret News Sterling Scholar in Science in 2023. He was a perfect example of leadership, service, had great academic goals, and he always worked hard to achieve them. He's the type of person who, who sees the American dream, if you want to put it that way, and he sets goals, and then he just takes his goals and hits them head on. Richfield teachers weren't surprised when he was accepted to Harvard's pre-college program. Talk about far from home. I was freaking out. <laughs> Though he grew up at times with no power, no running water, this Sterling Scholar could have gone to college anywhere he wanted. Well, I got into Harvard and Yale. And you chose the U. Then I chose the U. A smart decision. <laughs> Here in his dorm hangs the sweatshirt of his little nephew. And it serves as a reminder during all these nights of hard work, far from home, that he'll one day return to help his people on the reservation. I think I can make a difference being that one engineer on the reservation. Like, I live on the reservation, and I understand what people are going through, and I have family members that don't have, like, re running water or electricity or even, like, uh, a road to their home. He plans to change that and hopes his path to a degree can eventually be his road home. Deanie Wimmer, KSL News.